We got a lot of disasters tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We got a brand new game getting teased. We got apology videos for you. We got news for the Sony ponies for the Xbox. We got massive shutdowns as well. It's packed, y'all. Let's go for three likes on the video. And remember to not chase a pom-pom, hit that bell, and chase your dreams, okay? Because coming in at our number 11 spot, our first story, you might want to sit down for this one, okay? And, and fasten your seatbelts because exclusive. IGN has learned from multiple sources that PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo will not be part of E3 2023 and this is literally something that we talked about yesterday because Xbox teased the fact that they're gonna be having their like big showcase around June and I was saying that bro like do it at E3 okay because otherwise we're not gonna have anything special going on and today I just confirmed that Microsoft will not be at E3 I mean damn man so what are they gonna reveal are they gonna be revealing mobile games Probably are they also gonna be revealing a KFC console? I don't know guys. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts Bruh. even anime profile picture users are saying yay more game presentations uh, i think e3 is officially dead glad i was able to attend the last couple good years damn jd i will save the show <laughs> yeah ladies and gentlemen clap it up for the fallen angels e3 is kind of done so but coming in at our number 10 spot we got a whole lot of haram in this one guys you actually this time for real for real you might want to sit down hide your wives put your kids to beds because uh this twitch streamer issued an apology after accidentally revealing that he watched the fake videos of streamers pokemon and maya <clears throat> And when we talk about the deep fake videos, we really are talking about the deep fake videos, guys. Bruh. Roll it. Stream to like create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch, to feel safer. Like I, uh, we call fucking booba spam cringe. We don't do that there. I've never made like a fucking weird, I don't know, seat sniffing joke. I've never done anything like that. I've never done anything like that on a stream. And we don't tolerate any behavior in the chat. We, we ban it on site. And, uh, and like, I've done this consistently over and over and over. And then at 2 a.m., you know, I've been, I've been watching so much. I've been reading so much AI stuff. I'm reading all this stuff about AI and, and, uh, and defect music, defect art and everything. And I'm in these discords. And I was, I just feel so embarrassing to me. But I was on, dude, I was on a regular as normal website. And there was an ad. There's an ad on every video for this Bruh. So I know other people must be clicking it because it's on every video. Other people must be clicking it? What? Defect thing. And then I stream to like create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch, to feel safer. Like I Guys, listen, I always tell you and there's a reason, okay? Like, do not chase that. <laughs> Don't chase that bum bum. <laughs> Let the bum bum chase you. You need to get out of that beta male face, okay? Become a chat. Master yourself, okay? Become the higher self of yourself. Number one, you need to stop chasing the pom pom, okay? Number two, stop watching the hub content. It's bad for society, it's bad for your mental, it's bad, it's killing, and it's destroying your neurons. Drink more water, eat your vegetables, and uh, smash that like button. <laughs> Also, real quick, there was a man who got arrested for training his dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. And if you happen to be that guy that was underneath, you need Morgan and Morgan. If you're ever injured or you know someone who's injured and you do not know where to start, Morgan and Morgan is easy. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan and Morgan, submitting a claim is super easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan and Morgan when they were injured in an accident. And the best part is that they do not charge you unless the win the kiss for you <gasps> if you're ever injured in a car accident or at your workplace you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. That's right, for more information, you can check out forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's five to nine on your cell phone, or you can check out the top pinned comment below as well. But man, I'm having a hard time compute this one, okay? So first of all, you were watching the hub content. You were watching the high doping content. Not only that you were watching that, but you were also like diving into some AI defect videos of Pokemon. I, I, I just cannot compute it, but the biggest thing that I cannot compute in this situation, ladies and gentlemen. Here is that he got his wife crying. Bruh. He's crying. His wife is crying. I get it. I get it. You watch Haram. You committed the Haram. Instead of like apologizing to people, just apologize to God. Just. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boy, if you don't get like, you do not need to have an apology video publicly where you got yourself crying, you got your your wife crying, okay? I mean, damn, son. Oh, we got, oh my god, oh my god, it's Birdman. He came out and says, I'm just trying to understand the situation. This guy got caught buying defake videos of girl streamers that he knows, so he made an apology video crying with his wife, bro. I just, I'm, I'm out, bro. Like, I'm out. Meanwhile, two cyclists leading the tour decided to choose the winner with rock, pepper, and scissors. Be like these guys. <laughs> But guys, like everybody just gather around, okay? I'm telling you, man, our future is looking grim. It is looking dark because deep fake videos are already a reality. Like most <laughs> are already making like deep fake videos of Pokemon. I, I just cannot even compute. Y'all need to repent now, okay? The end is nigh, bruh. But you're not gonna believe this. This is some of the biggest snitch in the history of the entire universe, okay? We're gonna get right into this one because an Activision Blizzard executive has claimed that the last of us HBO show being successful is proof that Sony is incredibly powerful in the industry and that Microsoft needs Activision Blizzard King to compete against Sony unrivaled war chest of IP I, and quickly after you know we got the Sony ponies looking like this they went into coma the bots started patrolling they started doing helicopters with their woolies uh, saying that Lulu Ching needs to be the president of media and Lulu started engaging by saying the hi FTC did you catch the last night episode of the last one it was incredible okay okay she's liking that no wonder the show is breaking records it's a true blockbuster watched by tens of millions and i'm strong i'm independent and if you're a man you're always wrong you're always just so wrong shut the f up if you haven't already you should check it out you may be particularly interested in the fact that ow ow she bought a snitch she bought a snitch the last was is produced by sony pictures television and playstation productions it's based on a best-selling video game developed by a sony owned studio and published by sony as a playstation exclusive why does this matter and this is where a lot of the sony ponies went into coma check this sony's talent and ip across gaming tv movies and music are formidable and are truly impressive okay lulu ching what? it's no wonder they also continue to dominate and as the market leader for consoles in gaming, Sony is the first of us and they will be just fine without the FTC protection. <laughs> Man, this is... Man. Woman. <laughs> This snitching is more crazy, okay? Now listen, okay? What she's saying is facts, but th this snitching is kind of wild. We have homeboys saying that, how did Halo series go? A hundred billion dollar corporation and a trillion dollar corporation are fighting over a 50 billion dollar corporation. Wrong, it's a 69 billion dollar corporation. And this story will prove to you why humanity was a mistake. Roll it. There is something so demonic about this and I cannot even articulate what it is. Bro, I cannot compute this one. Homeboy just cured 1,000 people eyes. He cured their eyesight for the first time, objectively. I guess we can all agree. Smash the like button if you agree. And if you dislike, I hope your balls get dropped on a family full of cactus in your dreams. Okay, I'm not a savage, okay? I'm not a savage. I hope that happens, but only in your dreams. Mr. Beast replied by saying, Twitter rich people should help others with their money. Me, okay, I'll use my money to help people and I promise to give away all my money before I die, every single penny. Twitter, Mr. Beast bad. Humanity, ladies and gentlemen. And Officer Lucky was patrolling. You know the memo already. Men are always wrong. Women are always strong. Independent. I'm strong and you're wrong. And he came out and says that Twitch streamer Perry is officially beating Elden Ring bosses with her brain. My guy. And here I was thinking she beat with her ass. Okay. All connected to an EEG, which is keybound to her attack in game. Roll it. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, bruh, she was using that controller, but apparently according to experts, she was only using one button. And this is quite genius, right? And because initially I thought that those were some like hair clippers on her head and not like the EEG or whatever the kids say nowadays. We're living the cyberpunk reality, cut G, but also check this out. Twitch streamer Graf G is hosting his own version of the streamer awards, but for Latin America and Spain, the event has now broken 1.6 million views. Dialogue kid! Dialogue! Can I get uh, two likes on the video? What? And I gotta be honest, man, that Universal logo in the background, they got two mics, and that Twitch logo in the background! 
egg on do be looking kind of good okay it do be looking good. also yesterday sony did reveal this tv ad in this one we had part of this already showcased on espn in australia and that's where we saw and we learned about spider-man 2 but not just that we also had this shot and apparently a lot of homies are believing that this is about uncharted 5 because if you have played uncharted 4 you know that cassie drake is nathan drake's daughter and the video we have seen a lot of people are believing that it's either tomb raider or uncharted 5 but when you look at the face it doesn't look like lara croft so i guess it's safe to say that it's not tomb raider and a lot of people are shaking a lot of people are actually really really excited for this one because just recently naughty dog came out and they said that we're not gonna be making uncharted 5 but months ago years ago a lot of rumors did say that sony has handed the uncharted project to a brand new studio and now a lot of people are believing that this is about uncharted i want to know your input we also ended up getting a first teaser for the new resurgence map in warzone 2 and they're saying that we're going to be getting the map revealed tomorrow apparently a lot of the homies are saying that map already ended up getting leaked and the teaser video is kind of good but let's keep above 50 okay with, with activision the trailers are always the best thing ever the gameplay reveals are always they are always the best thing ever it's all about the game okay i hope this map bangs uh we're apparently hearing that it's gonna be a japanese map that's gonna be like a resurgence map it's gonna take over and it's gonna be the new quote unquote all Catra style map and it's gonna be a smaller map essentially they also ended up releasing the patch notes for modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 and you can definitely watch some activision shills or you can pause the video and read it if you want to you can watch the activision shills and they will tell you exactly what changed which is basically nothing it's barely any content barely anything guys but at least they're doing something so you know what uh i got respect for that but a lot of people started looking like this i mean it'd be what it'd be guys because uh 330 megabytes out there for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is available to preload on PlayStation platform, so it's gonna be for the Sony Pony. But Nadia just went crazy. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because Call of Shame also ended up getting exposed fully. Check these videos out and I will see you right there.